What's going on guys? Just a bit of a quick update video today. Uh, basically just a couple of updates I've done to my drift car and I've made a little track in the back garden. It's nothing special but it's something that we can drive the little uh, WL toys on the little Ken Block looking car. K989 I think it's called. Can't remember. The little 128 thing and uh, it's a place for me to practice my drifting. So Ollie can use it as a track for the little car and me obviously, and I can use it as practice for my drift car. So yeah, I'll just show you guys quick. So uh, there's nothing special, just some spray paint with some rocks around the border. Made it into a, made it into a sort of figure eight, depending on how you want it set up and put some, stuff down the middle to make it like a sort of kidney shaped racetrack like nascar style or like figure eight style you can make a p but it's very simple but it works it was all for free so i'll show you what i've done to the drift car and uh, yeah let's have a quick drive around so my drift car was the Sakura D5S, meaning that it was a rear mounted motor that was back here. Um, with that though, it was very rear heavy and it would oversteer way too much to the point where you couldn't catch it, even with the gyro. And um, I couldn't really fit many bodies on there. My other body just about fit, but if I didn't have it lined up just perfectly, it would start scraping and stuff. So what I've done is actually swapped this whole transmission round, so now it's mid-mounted motor. Still all the exact same electronics and stuff, but uh, everything is mounted in the middle. I also mount my batteries um, long ways, not across like most people do, try and get some more weight forward. Um, saying that though, the top brace isn't actually attached to anything now. It's just sort of floating there, but it's a drift car, it doesn't need much strength. The chassis won't flex at all under what's happening while drifting anyway. Still got the mono shock. So yeah, I'm going to get the shell on there, give this a little slide, and then we'll go give that a little drive around as well. Uh, this should handle a lot more different now than it did before, hopefully less understeer. At uh, less oversteer, I mean. This gyro seems a lot more sensitive as well. Taking out rocks. Still oversteering though. Might just be me and my crappy driving. might just be the fact that I'm on camera. We always do it, don't we? You can drive great and then the second the camera's on, you can't even do the basics. There you go. It definitely feels very different. I'm gonna have to get used to it again. And the wind's not helping at all. like this. Still oversteering though. Set 
and all the rocks on the posts. But yeah, that gives you an idea of the track. It works. It'll be great for me to practice at least, get better at this, so I don't have any excuses. Definitely easier to drive than it was with the rear mounted motor. Oh, top of the front lip. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too long here. So, always at that one spot. Anyway, we'll go get the other car and see how it is here. Alright, I've got to be quick because I've only got about five minutes before my missus gets here. We're going to go for a little breakfast date without the kids while Ollie's in school. My mum is going to watch after them, but we'll see how this one goes. Might have to turn the throttle to trim down. Turn it down. That seems about an appropriate speed for this track. The car definitely turns to the right better than it turns to the left. Yeah, this is going to be great for all these. I've got to go get ready to get on a date. So thanks guys, just a quick video, a bit of an update. Hope you enjoyed. And I can't stop recording because my gloves are on. Oh yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe now.